what I have here is the Blackhawk Go Box 230. Alright. I just recently picked this pack up from uh, Amazon at a really good price. It was less than 30 bucks. And uh, I'll tell you, man, this is a really good uh, pack. Let me read a few dimensions for you. I'm really bad at measuring, so I'm going to read off a website that I found. All right? So, this right here is the Blackhawk Go Box Flame Pack 230, made out of nylon. Uh, let's see. Same volume as two 30 caliber M19A1 ammo cans. Alright. See right here. It does. Cover it right here, one here, one here. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Loop lining with removable dividers for customization. Loop panel for ID tagging of contents. Stowaway shoulder strap. Strike webbing for attaching pouches and accessories. Single style. Carry allows bag to be rotated to front for access to contents and return to the back while still slung. Alright. Nice, nice sling pack here. Alright. Rotate it to the front. You get what you need out of it. You know. Sling it back. To your back. Like so. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see the Blackhawk Go Box Swing Pack features a simple and audacious design for quick access. These sling style packs are the perfect standalone go bag for storing or stagging essential contents on a shelf or in a vehicle. Alright. Here are a few dimensions. Alright, so we have it's 19.5 inches long. Alright, that's how long it would be. Alright, it's not a really long pack, you know. They do have uh, different ones, you know, same style. They've got the 150, the 250, 230. Uh, and so on, alright, so let's see, it's uh, 6.75 inches wide, alright, that's how wide it is, okay, uh, let's see, by 3.75 inches high, okay, that's how high it is, okay, It weighs 1.74 pounds and the material is 1000D nylon. Alright, so it's a pretty tough pack. Okay. Should last a pretty long time. Alright, so those are the dimensions. Alright, now, I guess I'll talk about it here. Alright, so you have two carrying handles here. Okay, you have one at the uh, top and one at the bottom. They're pretty comfortable. Alright, 
Not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. You've got Molly webbing on the front. Okay. And you have it on the sides here. Okay. I've got a pouch here. This right here is the Max Edition uh, Monkey Combat Admin Pouch. Right. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. So, um, pretty good, good pouch. Right. Put, put in the bag. As you see here. tag where it says Max Edition right here okay got my tech stuff in there got my uh, wire for my headphones okay. got a charger here for my cell phone okay. got a brick wall charger pretty much what I keep in here Of course, right here I keep my ID. Right? I don't have any ID in there now, but I do when I'm at work. Okay. Right here is a canteen pouch. Okay. It too is a is a uh, Max edition. Okay. They no longer sell these. Uh, I've had I've had this for a while. Um, I have another one too as well. I've got two of these. So pretty uh, cool little little pouch there for your canteen. And this pouch would uh, not only holds the canteen but holds the cup too as well. Alright. Let's see, on the side here, okay, I've got a condor uh, tactical flashlight pouch. Okay, with the Black Hawk flashlight. Okay. Right, so I got that. Okay. On this side, I have a carrying handle. Ah, carrying handle. More, uh, more Molly webbing with the Kara carabiner. Right, which doubles as a carrying handle. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, now, I have uh, two uh, uh, zipper sliders here, okay? Um, there's little tabs or loops here, okay? They call these, I believe, uh, U-pulls. I think really comfortable, right? And let's see in this pocket. Yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, one modification I have to do. Right? So I've got tools in this pouch here. Okay. Okay, all right, so you got two, uh, two pockets here, okay, it's not, not one big pocket, it's actually two, it's stitched right in the middle, all right, and these pockets are big enough for uh, small items such as a first aid kit, bubble kit, uh, also hold pistol magazines or, you know, a little mini bino or something like that, you know, you put in there. Okay. All right. Turn it over here. You also got same thing on the other side. Okay, you got two zipper sliders. You got pockets here. Now you got two. See now this is pocket my right jean pocket. Okay. Got a toothbrush and 
uh, some tweezers, uh, bing nail clippers, uh, my teeth are act up sometimes so I got some ore drill right there and I got some other stuff. This right here is my med kit pouch, you know band-aids and stuff in there. Okay, now let's see. Right here, you also have Molly. Right, you got three rows of two. You got a Blackhawk uh, grenade pouch, and inside that you got a little small set of binos. All right, always keep a set of binos on me. I live here in Colorado, so you know the mountains are always nice to look at. So keep those. Uh, let's see here. Here's the uh, tag, Black Hawk. Alright. Alright. Right here, you have uh, Luke Velcro for, for a patch. You got a Metal Gear Solid patch there. Put that there. That's not the only place you have Luke uh, Velcro. You also have it here too, underneath the carrying handle. That is one thing that kind of gets me there. It's like, why would they put Luke uh, Velcro here? I, I don't know why. You know, the handle's in the way, but hey, it's there. So, and I also have another another uh, Metal Gear Solid patch here. Alright, on this, on the Monkey Combat Admin Pouch. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> okay, alright, so, turn the pack over. Alright, you do have a grommet hole here. For any drainage of fluids. Hey, that's cool. I like having that on my bag. You have a real nice comfortable shoulder strap right here and it's quick release and adjustable padded underneath here. Okay. Well stitched. Alright, see the box stitch in there. You know, pretty pretty good. Well stitched. Um, one thing that I do like about this pack, I loved how they sewed in the shoulder strap, you know, and that makes it ambidextrous. They, they, they sewed it in the middle, right here, okay, and that's pretty cool because, you know, in order to switch it, right, from right shoulder to left, you don't have to, uh, with most, most packs like this, right, you have to, uh, in order to say, say, say you're wearing the pack on your right shoulder and you want to wear it on the left, you got to reconfigure the shoulder strap and all that mess. And, you know, who feels, and I really don't feel like doing all that, you know, I just like to pick the pack up and say have it on the, uh, on the right shoulder. Right, like so, okay, you know, let's see, you know, I take it off, you know, and I'm getting, getting stuff out of it, you know, and I uh, zip it all up, and I say, oh, man, I'm going to put the, put the pack back on, you know, it's, now it's on the uh, left shoulder, you know, and that's pretty cool, uh, and then have to switch around the shoulder strap, which can be a hassle. You know, so. <clears throat> Alright. Talked about the shoulder strap. Alright, now let's talk, now let's go on the uh, inside of the pack. Alright, right here you have a little, little grab strap or Velcro here. Okay, which is, this is really cool. You know, I thought this was like one whole piece when I bought it. But I was playing around with it and I was like, hmm, 
Look at that. You ain't nay, you can do it. You know, independently. Or you can put the piece the two pieces back together and zip it back up. Like so. Alright, so anyway. Um, I put a, a little loop right here, alright, alright guys, get into the back like that, alright, now it loads from the, from the back, alright, the back part, really, really padded, okay, well padded, real nice, and this is what it looks like on the inside, got a bottle of lotion here from my hands or my face, yeah, let's keep that. Now, that's what it looks like on the inside. Right. Got some uh, work gloves. Right. Got a shopping bag, reusable shopping bag. Here, a set of headphones. Okay. A journal. And it's all loop lined. So this pouch is from my Blackhawk Battle Bag. Okay. You can this will work with a uh, multi-tool or a flashlight or a knife or a, a handgun magazine. You know, little universal pouch there. Okay. I usually put that uh, yeah, right here. Okay. like so okay now <clears throat> here's something that I bought with this pack all right let's try here yeah, man. Woo, it's really in there this right here is a they call this a uh, tool panel all right they got they got different ones you know but about this one Alright, now I didn't pay much for this either. I think I paid like four bucks. Brand new. Yeah, so as you see here, you've got pen and pencil slots. You got some loops here for for you know for whatever tools you might put in there. You got uh right here is my uh, uh bag for my uh sunglasses. And that can fit right there. Like so, it really sticks in there. Catches real good. Right. Bam! There we go. Got that in there. Uh, let's see. Um, here's something else I bought for the pack. This right here is uh, Black Hawk. Uh, I think it's called the Pocket Pack. Uh, it's kind of like a Max Edition pocket organizer. You know, it's not as uh, fancy, you know, as as uh, as the Max Edition or VanQuest, but you know, it's pretty cool. You know, it's small. You know, to hold. You know, whatever small items you might have, it's got pen and pencil slots and all that stuff. You know, so that's pretty, pretty cool. I've always wanted one of these. And there are separate videos here on YouTube going through this product, so I'm not going to talk about it much, but there you go. I got that too. So, whew. Yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside, okay? And you can take out the dividers, a little dirty in there. Here's, here's the divider right here, and you could take them both out like so. And you gotta use it like that. Or, if you have like, say, pouches that have uh, the hook, uh, Part of the Velcro on the back, you can just stick it in there like so. <laughs> you can do that too. That's cool. Right here is a right. uh, Blackhawk training pistol. You know, I think it's a 45. A pretty, pretty nice gun. All right, this holster. And it 
a little bit. It can double as a uh, concealed carry bag. Um, you know, I don't know about the whole quick draw thing, but you know, you can definitely stick your handgun in there. You know, but uh, you know, but again, you know, like I mentioned in the uh, previous video, I'm not a real big fan of concealed carry. So there we go. All right, you can do that too. Well. Last thing that I want to share with you guys, right? One thing I wish they, or one feature that I wish they would have added with this uh, pack, but it's really no big deal, you know. I pretty much modified it, so you know, that feature is there, and I didn't have to cut on the bag or anything. Let me zip it on up. Right. Reconnect the shoulder strap. Okay, so. One thing I wish they would have added with this plane pack and I don't know why they didn't. And I don't know, maybe one of those things that get in the way, but. So, you put the pack on, you know, and you have to run or gun or do something. The pack is going to move around, you know, and that kind of happens even when I'm walking, you know, it moves around and I don't like that. So what I did was added, I believe there are one inch D rings at a one here. Okay, I just cut the middle of the D-ring and put it on the molly. And I got one there. And I got one there. And I made a little strap. Okay, a little stabilizer strap, I think they call this. Alright, and I made one. Okay. And this part here, and its hook, is going to go here. Alright, like so. And this part here connects to the strap right and uh, put the pack on and the strap goes like this and it keeps the keeps the pack from you know from moving around you know, so I like that <laughs> all right. I think that's just about it. Alright, this right here is the Blackhawk uh, Go Box 230. Alright. Yeah, really good, good sleep pack, you know. I've always wanted one. So, uh, I got one now. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So, anyway, you have a good night. Take care of yourself. This is Jim Mark.